Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. It is back. It's finally back. And I'll tell you what, I know I might be a few days late, but that's just the way it is. Taco Bell has released, or you know, they've re-released the famous, the infamous, the one and only Mexican pizza. It's back, and a lot of people are really excited about this. You can hear that creature that's actually a helicopter. It's excited about it too, doing really well among the helicopter demographic and everyone else for that matter. The Mexican pizza was a staple on the uh, Taco Bell menu. Uh, it was there for many, many years. I remember when I was young going to Taco Bell, I'd always see the Mexican pizza on the menu. Millions of people's souls were utterly destroyed back, I believe, in 2020 when Taco Bell redid the menu and outwent the Mexican pizza. There was mass protest. People said, you know what? I'm even going to boycott Taco Bell until that Mexican pizza comes back. Taco Bell said, look, we might be what we are. We heard, we listened, and we understand. And we're going to bring back the Mexi Mexican pizza, and that they did. For $5, here's what it is. You get seasoned beef and refried beans between two Mexican pizza shells. On the top is what they call Mexican pizza sauce, a three cheese blend, and tomatoes. This isn't water, by the way. I've got this brimful with Mexican pizza sauce. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Sometimes I just guzzle down the Mexican pizza sauce. Last night I actually went to Taco Bell and uh, I said, just I want a Mexican pizza, but just the sauce. And I came home, I started slathering it all over my face because, you know, I just wanted to get real pumped up for this. Like I said, it's available for the price of $5, five US dollars. And here it is. The Mexican pizza. All right, I know I can poke fun at Taco Bell, and you know I'm kind of sarcastic with this because I see the quality these days, and it is what it is. But I'll admit, it's actually nice to see a fast food establishment, a major chain, actually listen to customers. So many times, you know the way it is with these places, in one ear and right out the other. So the fact that they actually listened to people, that, that's something right there. And I appreciate that. It's good customer service. And it comes in this cool box. Cool branding right there. So, let's open this up and let's see what we have. Yeah, from 1985, that's when this was first. Oh, well, you know, I don't know. I'm gonna preface something right now because I'm looking at it and I see what I see and um, it's just gonna be what it is. I don't know what to tell you. Um, I know there's a lot of public pressure with this item, and I know a lot of people are really excited about it, they're really looking forward to it, and, um, it has its fans. One thing about my reviews, that this is just the way that I am, I refuse, regardless of public pressure, to just sit here and give an item a good review even if people are excited about it or if that's what the status quo is. If it's bad, it's bad, and right now, I don't know. Does it look like the picture? Does it look like... You know, what you see on their website. Uh, I don't know. I'll show it to you. And I almost dropped it, but I didn't. There you have it. I mean, I don't know. I guess it looks okay, but obviously... It's just Taco Bell for you. I thought it's supposed to be cut. I guess not. So, I don't know. Does it look like the world's most appetizing thing? I'll tell it to you right now, no. But it doesn't mean that it can't taste good. I'm looking, and it doesn't seem like they cut this. So, um, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to run back in, grab a knife, and, uh, just cut a slice, and then I'll show you a better cross-section, and we'll try it out. So I'll be right back in a minute. 
All right, and I am back. Look, I know, I know this is a tiny little slice, but I feel it's an adequate cross-section. You can see, though, the refried beans and beef. Sorry I'm so shaky today, that's just the excitement. I really don't mean to shake this badly, I'm sorry, it's just how I am. And then on the top, you can see the cheese and the sauce, but it looks like it's missing tomato. So I don't know, that's just something to mention. I just ordered this as is, but there's no tomato on it. Maybe it's due to uh, supply shortages, I don't know. But anyway, you know what it looks like, I know what it looks like. Let's find out what it tastes like. A Mexican pizza from Taco Bell going in. You know, you might find it hard to believe. But this has to be the first time in probably like 15 plus years that I've actually had a Mexican pizza from Taco Bell. Normally, uh, when I go to Taco Bell, seldom do I these days, but when I do venture there, I'll get the soft tacos, or sometimes I'll get a crunch wrap. Supreme. I know I'm gonna get flack for this, and so be it. The hype, and even the appearance, and the ingredients, uh, suggested to me that I, I was just expecting more out of this, quite frankly. And I know that's not what people want me to say. I get it. I know people are excited about it. I know that people want me to sit here and say, I'm, I'm so glad that they released this. This is an easy 9 out of 10, etc., etc. Um, but... It is what it is. I'm a little disappointed, uh, honestly. It's not necessarily the way that I remember it being. Quite frankly, um, I'm surprised at the lack of flavor in this. I, I am. Because I see what it looks like, and sure, aesthetically pleasing, it is what it is. And there's no tomatoes on it. But still, you can see the beef, you can see the refried beans, you can see all the cheese and the sauce and all of that. So I always expect, all right, it's going to, um, this thing, I mean, you look at it, and still, it looks like it's packed with flavor. I take a bite, and it's bland. Um, I taste the shell. It's kind of very cracker-esque. The refried beans, if anything, they're flavorless, and they've almost got, like, a dry taste to them, if you believe it. It just tastes dry, in a sense. The cheese is just kind of, it's there, um, but it doesn't really possess much flavor of its own, and the sauce on top of the Mexican pizza. Not really much to it at all, no real spice. Um, it's not really savory. I don't know. Like I said, look, I know people may disagree, but what I'm eating right now it just doesn't taste the way that I thought it was going to taste. Now, maybe the appeal is different for some folks. I, I imagine that the sense of nostalgia um, will perhaps override this in some cases, and, uh, and that's totally fine. Look, I tell you what, it's five bucks. Just get it. If you want to try it out, get it and see what you think. It's five dollars. But what I got, from what I've seen hyped up, from what I've seen promoted, all the rave reviews and feedback I've seen on social media, and I look at it and then I think to myself, that's it? You know? 
Is that all that there really is? So there's a clear divergence. Now, you know what? Because some people may say this, and I get it. Let's say maybe you got a bad slice. So you know what? For you, I'm going to have another slice, and let's, let's find out. But so far, I mean, I thought I would even be able to taste the beef, and I can't really even taste that. It just tastes dry and uh, bland. I don't know. I don't know. Let's try it again. No, it's, it's not just that slice. I don't know. There's something about this that just isn't, um... It's like, alright, I'll tell you what. Is it bad? Would I necessarily describe this as bad? Would I describe this as foul tasting? No. It's like, alright. I could sit here and eat this. Is it going to be necessarily enjoyable, though? No. Because, honestly, this is like... It's flavorless. And I don't understand why. I sincerely don't. People are saying one thing, it even looks like something that has potential, but then I put it in my mouth, I taste it, and it's just barely there. It's like it's dry, the sauce is lacking, the cheese really isn't that flavorful either, the refried beans, they just taste dry, I can, I, I can barely taste even the beef, which is odd. I don't know. I just say, look. I bet there was a time, and everyone talks about this, you know, when Taco Bell was better, right? You think back to the early 2000s, the 90s, you think, yeah, that was, what, that was when Taco Bell was really good. I bet there was a time when the Mexican pizza from Taco Bell was absolutely packed with flavor. But, um... At this point, it's just, maybe it's just not what it used to be. Back when I had it many years ago, I didn't remember it being this way, and that's all that I could say. So, that's just my two cents. The one that I got, not very flavorful. It looked like it should be, but quite frankly, it's dry and uh, tasteless. And that disappoints me, because this gets so hyped up. And, I, you know, then you start getting led to believe, wow, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be the best thing ever from Taco Bell. So I try it. I've got it right here. I give it a shot. And then I think, what's wrong? Is it? And then that makes me question myself. What's wrong with me? But I just taste what I taste, and that's all that I could tell you. You might agree, you might disagree with this assessment, but certainly what I got isn't what uh, I thought it was going to be. And uh, that's my, my sincere belief. Now, your mileage may vary. Maybe it's just a problem with my Taco Bell, I don't know. Maybe the tomatoes would save the day, I doubt it, but you never know. That's another thing, it didn't have one of the ingredients on it that it was supposed to. So taking all of that into account, and, um, what I got, honestly, the Mexican pizza I received, personally, was, uh, I mean, this is like a 3 out of 10 we're talking here. I'm not gonna rate it any lower, because at least it's, it's edible, and you can kinda taste the sauce a tiny bit, but aside from that, it's just matter, and that's all that I could tell you. I hope I'm just a, it's a one-off problem on my end, but what I got, I'm not happy with. If you want, like I said, it's only five bucks, go over to Taco Bell, hey, relive the glory days, you know, go back, get the Mexican pizza, and all I can tell you is I hope that what you get is better than what I got. Because if yours is this way, then get ready to be disappointed too. And uh, your hopes and dreams will be crushed, I'm just telling you that right now. So get ready for that. Sorry it had to be this way, but um, it just is what it is. And that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching, and uh, like I said, if you get a Mexican pizza, I hope yours is better than what I received. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'm your host, The Report of the Week.